Welcome back to the channel for um, practice problems for actuarial exams. Uh, today it's a problem for exam P. If you want to find out about me and what I do to help you prepare for exam P, you have some links here. If you want to help the actuarial program at Illinois nice State University, you can, for example, go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary and the donations will be used to help our students. Here's our problem. It's um, problem number 166 in the sample published by the Society of Actuaries. An airport purchases an insurance policy to offset costs associated with excessive amounts of snowfall. For every full 10 inches of snow in excess of 40 inches, notice this means that uh, the snowfall really has to be 50 inches or more because it has to be full 10 inches over 40 inches. Um, during the winter season, the insurer pays the airport 300 up to a policy maximum of 700. The following table shows the probability function for the random variable x of annual winter season snowfall in inches at, at the airport. So you see that um, 0 to 20 inches probability is 0.06, 20 to 30 inches 0.18, 30 to 40 inches 0.26, 40 to 50 0.22, and here we come all the way up to 50. What's the total probability of those? 0.06 plus 0.18 is 0.24 plus 0.26. Uh, it's uh, 0.50 and plus 0.22. It's 0.72 there will be no payment with probability 0.72. Then, um, between 50 and, and 60, the, pay, uh, the probability is 0.14. The payment in that case um, will be 300. And then, um, from 60 to 70, the probability is 0.06. That's another full 10 inches, so the total payment now will be um, 600 and then um, if the snowfall is 70 uh, inches or more, um, which is a probability of 0.04 plus 0.04, we're going to hit the maximum of 700. There's not going to be 900 payment, the payment will be 700. Calculate the standard deviation of the amount paid under the policy. Well then, this is what I was uh, just telling you, the amount paid under the policy, which is the random variable that we study, is 0 with probability 0 0.72, 300 with probability 0 0.14, 600 with probability 0 0.06, and 700 with probability 0 0.08, which is really um, 0 0.04 plus 0 0.04, but 0 0.08, more than 70 inches or more. The expected value is, well, we have four possible values and their probabilities, so we just multiply them out, uh, multiply probability times the amount and, and um, add it up, and we get uh, 0 times 0 0.72, so that's 0. 0 0.14 times 300 plus 0 0.06 times 600 plus 0 0.08 times 700, that's equal to 134. And the second moment, is, uh, well, the same amounts, but now squared, multiplied by the same probabilities, that ends up being 73,400. So the variance is the second moment minus the square of the first moment, and that's 55,444, and the square root of that is the standard deviation that we're looking for, and that's 235. That's answer B. Please remember that this is copyrighted material, and that um, uh, problems given um, to us by Society of Actuaries or Casualty Actual Society are their property used with permission. Um, good luck with your studying and good luck on the exam.